Hey y'all, defensive here. It is four o'clock in the morning and I can't get to bed. And I decided to record something a little bit different just because I was in the mood for, you know, something different, something trippy to play personally. Now, I thought I'd bring y'all along. This is called The Cat and the Coup. And I really don't know what to expect. Um, colors are vibrant looking. Uh, Maha- I'll just jump right into the game without much further ado. March 5th, 1967. Mohammed Mossadegh is dead. Former Prime Minister of Iran was 86. Nationalized oil industry in 51. Stirring storm. So I'm the cat. And I think the entire point of this... Oh, whoa. Am I guiding his ghost? That's kind of cool. So he was dead, and now his spirit's following his cat. Back in time. August 4th, 1956. Mosteg ends prison term for plot to overthrow Shah. Saha, placed under house arrest in Walled Village. Oh, that's cool. I can tilt the room. I guess that opens the door and gives him the availability to leave after I spill the oil. Bad kitty. I ruined his, I ruined his drawing. What am I supposed to do? Should I swipe it this way now? <laughs> what a pain in the ass cat. Huh. Oops, I have to stay there. Already, this gameplay is too intense for me. Why is he closing the- oh, okay, now I can go this way. This is trippy. Whoa! I I'm not gonna be looking for easter eggs or anything. Whoa, rough and tumble kitty. What is this? What? Court martial nears verdict. The Saha of Iran asks mercy for Mossadegh's life. Where am I supposed to go? Is this like a freeform section? Or do I swipe this? Oh, whoa. December 20th, 1953. Court martial nears verdict. That's oh, the same thing. So I'll jump up here. That cat got hops though. I'm just supposed to swipe every- What the fuck? That's really interesting looking. So I inflated that head and I popped it and it flew back on. Maybe if I run somewhere else. What are these? Th is he just picking up all the paper? That's some exciting gameplay. Some interesting stuff. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. You see in the uh, bottom right hand corner? The bulldog and the little lizard with a Union Jack cap on the hat. That's funny. I like that. Alright, I want to progress. How do I progress? Do I roll the ball this way? That seems like it might do something. Oh! Maybe not? Maybe if I, like, knock him over with it? So if he gets closer... Or maybe I'll just try here. Oh! What was that? So I wanted to trip on the ball. It's kind of sophisticated. Are there holes in the ground now? Got him. Got him. Oh, he falls through. Wait, I need to follow him. Oh, it was, it was a hole. This is a cool way to tell a story. So long HBO and other and Netflix and everything like that. This is the, the new way. This is like the predecessor for Breaking Dawn. That's what this is. August 20th, 1953. Dr. Mosadegh surrenders by phone 24 hours after fleeting, fleeing mob. Fleeting mob, jeez. What am I supposed to do here? Are these men looking to catch? objects. Whoa. Hold up, mate. 
Hold up. Closing in on me, bro. Not cool. Not cool. I need some space to breathe. What? Those motherfuckers. Down I go. Got some Escher type stuff. Superhero gecko. UN. Let me just run down. Do a little kitty cannonball. It's adorable as fuck. And now we're in a famous building that I don't know the name of. Because it's school. October 23rd, 1951. Truman urges Mosaddegh to settle British oil dispute. U.S. assistance available. I don't know how much I like the depiction of Truman as a rabbit. Oh, there's that bulldog again. Beautiful music. You can't knock it off. Oh, I sit in his lap. That's cute. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Am I supposed to, like, oil or grease the fall now? What is this? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, I oiled his hand. So this is like his la his life flashing before his eyes now. Isn't it? It's just him remembering what his life was like, the, the things that he did, the things that he'd done, because he's still depicted as a spirit here. He keeps on rolling out of the chair. I'm guessing he's just gonna break through the tapestry. After this. I would have gotten rid of this cat a while ago. God, the, the, like, the difference in art forms in this is so cool. What the fuck is petting me? Oh, it's the bulldog face, motherfucker. I guess that's Winston Churchill. That makes sense. Can I, can I hit him off me? I want to read the next, the next area's little blurb. I want to see that information. What is that? They just fucking put me in a bag? What the f Oh. Okay. Innocently enough. Iran Majil's parliament nationalizes oil industry. Brits claim this is a threat to the security of the world. Oh, really? This cat's moving like crazy. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh, March 20th, 1951. Sorry. Am I supposed to knock it off while he's underneath it? That's kind of fucked up, kitty. So I don't understand the role of the cat. Whoa! Not cool, Mr. Whiskers. What in the oil everywhere? Holy shit. Is it gonna sink? Got him again. <laughs> Motherfucker. Motherfucker never loved us. That was such a simple game lagging. I apologize for that, y'all. That is very bizarre. One more time. One more time. We just. Pussy to the face. Oh. Pussy to the face. One more, one more. Pussy to the face. We're flooding, we're flooding, we're flooding good. There, there it goes. He's floating on oil. Now, what, what am I doing? Am I drowning? May 1st, 1951. Nationalist Dr. Mohammed Mosdeg elected Prime Minister of Iran by Democratic Majilis. Majilis. May 25th, 1951. British Brigade to Mediterranean Soviet Envoy sounds warning. September 6th, 1951. British breaks off parlays with Iran. London rules out any further negotiations with the regime headed by Mosdeg. Back up to October 8th, 1951. Mosaddegh appeals to Americans to back Iran. Remember your own revolution against Britain. June 23rd, 1952. 
World Court Ends Iran Oil Hearings, Mossadegh Leaves for Home, Telling British national, Nationalizing Will Never Be Rescinded. October 3rd, 1952. General Eisenhower scores president on Reds, says Democratic Tolerated Penetration by Communists. April 4th, 1953. CIA approves $1 million to bring about the fall of Mossadegh. July 19th, 1953, CIA officer Kermit Roosevelt Jr. enters Iran at remote crossing, bribes mullahs, military merchants, majils, and media. August 19th, 1953, Royalist Aus, Royalist Aus Madega, army seizes him, Moscow says U.S. aid, aided Sahaz coup. August 22nd, 1953. Mob turns on Mossadegh, tanks keeping guard, Iran's capital. August 23rd, 1953. Saha solemnly toasts Roosevelt. I owe my throne to God, my people, my army, and to you. God, this is some, some weird storytelling. I really like it. I never liked history, but if this is what my teachers had, I'd be into it. November 14th, 1953, Mossadegh's prisoner still stirs the masses. Iranian government seeks to dispose of the myth before changing. Missed a word there. January 21st, 1962, Iran police clash with pro Mossadegh students. Mossadegh denied contact with the outside world. It might be sad, and I might be stupid, but I've never heard of this guy. Ever. Well, it looks like that he's gone through his dream post-mortem he's going to return to his body and then lift into the future that's a cool way to go into the credits so this is free on steam called the cat and the coup and here are the credits and i'll let them roll as i talk uh it's just one of these like atmospheric games that are free on steam and i'm guessing it's kind of a side project for developers to make these but they're Music by Nine Inch Nails? I had no idea. That's awesome. I, I didn't recognize it. Uh, this is just something cool, and after having me play it and record it and share it with y'all, uh, I don't know if you'd like to play it by yourself, but feel free. I'll have the link to this download in the description. I want to thank y'all for going on this little trippy experience in this you know little game with me. It was uh, definitely different, and... Well received, I liked it. And if you did, like the video, leave a comment saying what was your favorite part about this, and as always, please subscribe. Just please subscribe. <laughs> Peace, y'all.